Okay, I want to talk a little bit about uh, composition and we're going to use this uh, print that was submitted for print competition and it's entitled Emily. Uh, the first thing that uh, I notice about this image when I first look at it is the composition. Uh, if you look at an image and if you take an image and split it in four separate quadrants, effectively drawing two lines smack dab in the middle, you can tell basically where the center is and you can tell where the middle is on both directions and kind of gives you a rule of thumb rough idea as to uh, where the composition lies. And in this particular image, it's just, uh, to me, it's not working. Uh, but I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the ideas that I have about this. So if we take this and position four dots in the middle of each of those quadrants, you've got roughly what's called the four quadrants, four placements for composition. Now these are basic rules of thumb. So if you look at Emily, she's kind of like nowhere. So what can we do about that? Well, let's look at this a little bit more. If we actually take Emily, like I've done here, and I've uh, selected her out and placed her head right about where that dot is in the upper white right quadrant. So uh, obviously we're not going to use a white background. So let's just go in and uh, play around with the background. I'm going to select a couple of colors from the actual image and a light green and a dark green. I'm going to go to filter, render, clouds. I'm going to create a nice cloudy effect. I'm going to go filter. I'm going to blur that out some more. Filter. I'm going to go to Gaussian blur rather. Lots of Gaussian blur. And you know maybe we can even go in and uh, add some noise. just to give the background a little more like I don't want the background to jump out too much so I thought the choice of the background for this particular shot was a little bit too distracting so we want to darken it a little more and I'm doing this really quick so obviously we can go into the uh, layer where she's placed and we can do a drop shadow if we wish we can go in and select the color eh, maybe a light green and create a backdrop you don't want to you don't want to do too much of this. I'm just kind of working with it really quick here. I would prefer to use a pinstripe around this image here, but what I'm talking about again is the composition. Look at this composition versus the original composition. And of course, these rules are sometimes meant to be broken. They can work in different instances when you go in a totally different direction. But when you look at the original image, um, I just think it's just not working 100% and uh, following these basic rules of composition are uh, what we need to do here. Just to talk a little bit about the image while we got it, it's not in my opinion um, really working. I would give this image a score of about 78, 79. Uh, I can't see her face enough. I like the lighting. The lighting's really working. We've got some nice strong back lighting. Uh, I find her clothing very distracting for print competition. This is not good. Uh, so it's got to be much more dynamic, impactive, harmonious for it to come together. But follow those rules of composition, at least to improve it in that respect. So I hope this helps. Thanks.